Greetings, grave robbers, and welcome back to the television graveyard. I am your TV necromancer, TV's Noah Houlihan. And wait, 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 don't tune out. Come on, wait, 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 wait. I know Lara's not here. Please don't shut it off. Come on, that hurts my feelings. Come on. It's okay. It's okay. It's just you and me. We can hang out. I know it's not as... Fr I know you guys like Lara more, but it's fine. It's just you and me. So let me just break it down. Uh, we had a tech issue, and uh, we have a lost episode. But an episode had to go out, and so I'm doing this one really quick, alone, so that we have content. So you should be happy at my hardworking spirit. So today, we've dug up the corpse of Mantelope, a proof-of-concept pilot, uh, an animated pilot uh, by Todd Poulsen, Poulsen, and Dave Thomas. Not the Wendy's Dave Thomas, a different Dave Thomas. Thomas. Uh, so we're going to get into this. Uh, I apologize for the lost episode. Next week, we will be back at full strength and we will re-record uh, a very special backdoor pilot we were doing. It is Jackass Presents the Gumball Rally. So get excited for that next week. But for now, let's talk about Manilope, a cartoon about a being that is half man Half antelope. That's right. Half man. Half antelope. He is the most. I don't know why McDuff, the talking dog, theme song gets brought up so often here on the show, but uh, we do love it. We do love it. So I'm going to give you a quick rundown. It is a four minute cartoon, so not a lot happens. It is the story of the mantelope that comes to town, which is not a real creature, but has recently kind of become this fake alien creature that is like lore around it. Uh, this cartoon is 13 years old and the mantelope comes to town and everybody kind of loves the mantelope except for Hunter Jack. So Hunter Jack is attempting to kill the mantelope and we basically end up with a roadrunner uh, coyote situation where every time Hunter Jack attempts to slay or capture or hunt the mantelope, uh, shenanigans happen. But unlike the roadrunner, there's a little bit deeper here. Every time he attempts to hunt this creature, not only does he fail, but it causes a sequence of events where the mantelope becomes more beloved in the town. Uh, for example, uh, the hunter uh, puts one of those lasso traps in front of the mantelope's door. The mantelope walks out and gets caught and like dragged by a car uh, through the town, which leads him falling into a football stadium and they use his horns to kick field goals. That's a thing that happens. Another thing is he takes a gun and just tries to shoot the mantelope. Uh, the mantelope is smelling some flowers and as the mantelope leans down to smell, uh, that's when he fires. So he du the mantelope ducks out of the way and that causes Hunter Jack to accidentally shoot the dam. And the mantelope is luckily there to uh, plug all the holes in the dam and prevent uh, an aqua catastrophe. And thus, the mantelope is beloved, and they send Hunter Jack to jail. That's pretty much the entire pilot. Uh, what's interesting about this pilot, and it was almost to the point that I was going to not do this, is everything about it reads as cheap flash animation. Like this whole thing, which I recommend you watch, like I said, it's four minutes, is very little animation. There's a lot of animation tricks here. Uh, first and foremost, the whole thing is narrated. And we kind of get the story told to us through a narrator and then moving pictures. There is not a single line of linked, lip-synced audio in this. This is all just talking from a narrator, and then some shenanigans happen. Uh, so, lip-syncing is one of the most difficult parts of animating. 
So the fact that you can completely eliminate that by having a narrator really makes your job a lot easier. Second, uh, the animation here is very subtle. And to the untrained eye, it kind of looks like an average cartoon, but they're definitely doing a lot of tricks to make your mind think there's more motion than there is. This whole thing kind of looked like a point-and-click adventure. I know I've said that before. I was like, this kind of looks like Pajama Sam. But often with those games, you have a very static background, and then only your character is animated as it walks around this very static background. It's a lot of tricks like that. There's a lot of Hunter Jack laughing, and it's basically the same uh, animation repeated several times. To ha 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 ha, they only had to animate ha once and then loop it. Uh, there's a lot of uh, things that seem like a lot of motion, but are actually not. There's a moment where uh, the hunter has been uh, after dragging the mantelope around town where he's been foiled and he's laying on the ground and he's tapping his finger and his teeth fall out. But the only thing animated in the shot are his finger and his teeth moving. Everything else is static. This is just so you can pump this out as quickly as possible. And I was like, this isn't a real pilot. This is clearly just someone's flash movie. This should be on new grounds. This is, you know, it says it's 13 years old. I was like, I bet this was like a flash video that was on new grounds well over 13 years ago. Uh, like this is, this isn't even a pilot. This is just someone made a cartoon on the internet and uploaded it there. And then I got to the credits and the narrator was Billy West. Billy West, one of the greatest voice actors of our time. You might know him as Fry. You might know him as uh, Stimpy from Ren and Stimpy. Uh, he's also um, several other Futurama voices. He's uh, Zap Brannigan. I believe he might be currently Bugs Bunny on the Looney Tunes show. Uh, he's the Red M&M. Uh, he's just been around forever. So to have such a strong voice actor, I was like, oh, is this real? So I did some research. That's right. Noah did some research. We're playing the jingle because if we don't, uh, this is, this is going to be way too short of an episode. Uh, this was created by a company known as Wild Brain. And you can go to wildbrain.com. Uh, it has a copyright of 2001. So it is older than 13 years. This was uploaded to YouTube 13 years ago, but it is actually, uh, you know, closer to 22 years, 23 years old. And it's very short, but Wild Brain is... A very successful company. They've done uh, animation for Sonic the Hedgehog. They've done animation for Carmen Sandiego, for the new Peanuts cartoons. They've done animation for Johnny Test. They work with the new Teletubby show. They did work for Yo Gabba Gabba. They've actually had quite a run. Uh, they've worked for Ninjago, the, the like Lego ninjas. And... I tried to find more information on Mantelope. Mantelope seems to have kind of fallen to the, the wayside. They, it's not a very uh, known pilot because it's four minutes long. But I found the Annie Awards. These are uh, awards for animation. And Mantelope was actually up for an Annie Award for Best Animated Production Produced for the Internet. Uh, this was a, uh, a competition between two other Wild Brain uh, projects, one called Graveyard, one called Groove Monkey. Groove Monkey actually won. They won this uh, Annie Award, which 
may sound like it's not a big deal because Wild Brain was three of the nominees, but one of the other nominees was Nickelodeon Animation Studios for a webisode of The Crimson Chin, a spinoff of The Fairly Odd Parents. So, yeah, this actually is a bit of a prestigious award. They gave an award for Best Animated Feature that year, which went to Shrek. Uh, This is a real award and the idea that this was completely lost to time and to me looks like it was so cheaply done really surprised me it looked like anyone who knows animation could do this and that's not trying to be like a shot at it this is me just kind of saying like i see the tricks you're doing i see the money saving techniques you're doing and you're still creating a product that people are interested in this pilot was beloved by the studio execs at Cartoon Network. It never went to series, but it was something that they were actually very much interested in. And for something like this that looks like a web video that, you know, uses these animation tricks to kind of hide, the tricks are done very well. Like I said, to the untrained eye, it does just kind of look like a cartoon. But the tricks are done very well. And the fact that it could be recognized for its merit really i find hopeful i find that inspiring that they were able to create something like this so simply using very simple tricks using very basic story structure uh, and you know create something that's being recognized and while it is now lost to time i'm glad that i got the opportunity to talk about it briefly here in this episode of stay doomed which i think is already over i think that's going to be a wrap on this uh this is being recorded uh, about a half hour after this should have been live. So I'm going to put a wrap on this here. Thank you so much for joining me. If you want to talk to me about what I should do whenever we have a lost episode, I'm at Plus Two Comedy on Twitter and TV's No on Instagram. And uh, if you want to talk to us, you can reach out at the Stay Doom Show at gmail.com and uh, on Twitter at Stay Doomed. And also be sure to join our Discord. Sorry for the short episode, and we will see you next week. And until then, stay doomed. <laughs>